want to be a player. Bunch of wheels ain't fly. You gotta hit us up. Get her pimped out right. So I'm here at John's house. We're about to surprise him and tell him that we're gonna float his ride. John? John? Yeah, are you guys from Pimp My Ride? Well, actually, we're from uh, MTV8, the Ocho, and we're here to float your ride. Okay. Just come with us, come with us. We'll show you what we can do, man. Hi, I'm Larry, the lead mechanic here, and um, I'm just gonna introduce you to some of my crew. Uh, Steve, where's Steve? Say hello, Steve. I'm Steve. You don't have to yell, Steve. Okay, Larry, sorry, sorry. And uh, we're basically just gonna, you know, you know, make this ride, you know, floatable so it doesn't sink in the water. Basically, this is our uh, calculation board and we just make sure, you know, we get the physics involved so we don't make a mistake the first time we try and drive it in the water because that will result in this. That is not good. So, uh, basically, you have any ideas how we can, uh, you know, we need to increase the volume and keep the mass low? You have any ideas, Larry, spitballing? Well, uh, I've been spitballing a little bit lately and I'm coming up with this thing called a, uh, artificial action aid buoyancy ball and I think, uh, I think in this case they, they could work pretty good. I think the shipping industry has utilized them quite nicely. And uh, as you can see right here, I've diagrammed them. These are the artificially actionated buoyancy balls, and they should um, increase the volume of the car by not increasing the mass. Basically, using our basic math, we can uh, figure out well, everybody knows density of water is uh, 7. Okay, so we're going to just estimate here, and uh, the mass of the car is about uh, 3 million pounds. And um, the volume is, did you say, uh, 38 cubic inches? Uh, yeah, cubic. That, that'd be about right. Yeah, that's okay. And um, so our density of the car is about... So we're going to need to decrease that big time. We're going we're to need quite a, fit, quite a few buoyancy balls to uh, get that working. Can you get them? Oh, I can get them. I know a guy. Let's put him on. All right. Hey, uh, hey, Larry, Larry. Hey, wait a second. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's an air wrench. I, I think that's a screwdriver. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Did you make that sound? <laughs> hey, uh, did you just make that sound with your mouth? No. Yeah, you did. That was your mouth. No, I didn't. Okay, man, get back to work. Okay. So uh, Larry's over there uh, fixing the polyurethane artificially oxygenated buoyancy balls, and uh, let's uh, see how it's going. Is it going everything good there, Steve? Oh yeah, Larry, they're turning out pretty good. So I just finished calibrating the artificially oxygenated buoyancy balls, and uh, I think they're going to work pretty good on this 2004 runner. They're going to go about in this region, and we're going to have a whole line of them, and I'm, I'm thinking that. Uh, Due to the volume and the density times the mass, I think these should be able to do the job. Speak pimping, baby. All right, so let's see what this bad boy can do. Here's your keys, man. You fishy, Ben? <laughs>